In this video, we're going to analyze a polynomial function. So looking at our function m of x, the first thing we can find are zeros. So the way we find our zeros is we take each of our factors and set them equal to zero. So we will have x minus 3 squared equals zero and x plus 1 equals zero. So our zeros are negative 1 opposite of squaring is the square root. Whenever we take the square root, we include plus or minus sign. But here, we can't have a plus or minus zero. So it's just going to be x minus 3 equals zero. So x is equal to 3. So what we know is that at x is equal to 3 and x is equal to negative 1, our graph is going to interact with the x-axis. So what our graph is going to do is determined by its multiplicity. So your multiplicity is your exponent on each of our factors. So for x minus 3, its exponent is 2. So our 0 is x is equal to 3. So its multiplicity is 2. And at x is equal to negative 1, since our exponent is not written, our exponent is 1. So the way we interpret these multiplicities, if our multiplicity is even, our graph is going to touch and turn at that point. If our multiplicity is odd, our graph is going to cross through that point. So at x is equal to 3, our graph is going to touch and turn. At x is equal to negative 1, our graph is going to cross through that point. So we can make our own table or plug this into our calculator to get other points on our graph. So on the left we have our table and we plot all the points that we are able to see on our graph. And then we're going to connect our points as best we can. So. In the center, our graph is going to look like that. And here's our graph on the left. So we should know that this is a cubic function. This first part, if we multiply it out, we would have x squared minus 6x plus 9. And we will multiply that by x plus 1. So multiplying those two polynomials together, we would have an x cubed term. And since our exponent is odd and our leading coefficient is positive, even without doing the graph, we can determine our end behavior. So our end behavior is what is our graph doing on the ends? So if we look at our graph, as x approaches negative infinity, means that as our graph is going this way on the left-hand side, as x is getting very, very small, we're paying attention to this side of the graph. So since it's going down, the y values m of x are approaching negative infinity. On the right side of our graph, as x is approaching positive infinity, as x is getting very, very large, we're going to the right side of our graph. So on the right side of our graph, we're looking at this end. So our function m of x, the y values are going up in the positive direction and we can look at positive infinity. We can also get this from our table of values when we graph. Here, if you follow x is equal to 4, we have 5. x is equal to 5, we have 24. x is equal to 6, we get 63. You see all of these numbers are going in the positive direction. If we look at the other one, as x is approaching negative infinity, as we look at negative values of x, the y values are function are approaching larger negative values. The numbers are getting very, very small. They continue to be negative 